Good morning, church. I hope that you are all having a great Good Friday morning up to now. I just wanted to share a few scriptures with you. You may hear um, River in the background, um, but I want to share some few scriptures with you this morning. First, I'm going to share Romans 5, verses 6 to 10, and this is what it says. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? And I want to share with you also 1 Peter uh, 3, verses 18. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. So great verses for Good Friday morning. And now I'm going to pass it on to Pastor Adam, who's going to come and share some worship songs with all of you this morning. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Um, I want to just open in prayer as we've taken some time to reflect on some scriptures that Pastor Jess shared with us uh, today. Uh, it's just a wonderful time to really understand what Jesus has done. And not only do we reflect on what he endured on the cross, but really we reflect on how we have this new relationship with God Almighty, our Creator, because of what Jesus has done and gone through. So it's it's really a beautiful celebration. I know many of you are home, obviously, and not uh, spending time with extended family. So I pray that we'll, we're your extended family here today with everyone collectively together. Um, let's just open in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that you uh, sent your Son, Jesus. And Lord Jesus, that you... Uh, through so many trials and, and temptations as you walked this earth, you uh, stood strong and did uh, the miraculous. You healed those that needed healing and you brought forth grace to this world uh, and showed some wonderful, beautiful mercy. Lord, I pray that we would just sense that in our homes, wherever we are, that you are wrapping us in this love that you bestowed upon us so many years ago. And uh, I pray that we just really just look at you as the one true way and the truth in the life lord god it is you that we care for most jesus and we love you let's sing some praises to him amen as we re as we reflect on this good friday so i probably play this a little more campfirey than you're used to but that's okay there's a few good songs in here all of them have to do uh with the theme today of Jesus being our redemption.
about his blood. Nothing can for sin atone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not of good that I have done. No, nothing but the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the blow that makes me white as snow. No other fountain. My hope and peace, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness, nothing but the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the flow. White as snow, no other fountain I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. It's nothing but the blood of Jesus. Savior, I come, quiet my soul, remember, redemption's here, your blood was spilled for my ransom, and everything I once held. I tempted and tried human the word became flesh bore my sin and death now you're in
lead me to your heart Lead me to your heart Lead me to the cross Way and I poured out Bring me to my knees Lord, I laid me down Rid me of my sin me home here
the power of Christ I'll stand And how deep the Father's love for us And how vast beyond all measure That He should give His own sing this last song together that we reflect and realize that we could not have done any of this ourselves. We can't bridge the gap. We can't find our way into your loving arms of righteousness without you, Jesus. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your grace. Today we look to you. Glory to you, God, mighty King risen King, Savior of the world. Lord, I come and I confess bowing here I find my rest and without you I fall apart You're the one that God it's my heart Lord, I need you Oh, I need you And every hour and I need you My one defense My righteousness
Where grace is found Is where you are for coming and sharing in this time with us together. Pastor Brent is getting prepared to uh, come online um, in a minute. And uh, I ask you that uh, if you have forgotten that you take this moment while we switch over to uh, gather your emblems uh, for the Lord's Supper, our time of communion together. If you have some juice or bread, I have some with me here. Uh, then we're going to partake together. Pastor Brent will share uh, from his heart, from the word, and we're just going to have those moments together as a church. And it doesn't matter where you are. It What matters is that we're in this together and that we share in one accord. I think it's a beautiful thing that we can do. Uh, I know families that do it. My parents are people that uh, share in communion at home. They do that themselves as well. And I think it's something that we are instructed to do and should continue to do, church. So uh, I'm excited to share in the Lord's Supper with you today. But let me just pray over you another uh, blessing that uh, the Lord has just really laid on my heart. Lord, right now, I want to pray over anyone who is lonely. I want to pray over people who are uh, just maybe by themselves and don't have a bigger family with them uh, for this, uh, this Resurrection Sunday, for this Good Friday, through the whole season. And God, as we reflect on you and we normally gather together as a family and even as a church, I pray that those that maybe feel or sense some loneliness, that would just be eradicated and removed because they would sense and know we are with them, Lord, we pray. We are with each other as a church and we go through this um, knowing that there is an end, knowing that there is another side. But Lord God, just fill our homes with an abundance of your love that we would sense and know that you are near and that loneliness would fade, but we would gather and stand in one accord strong as a church and as a family. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 
uh, thank you, church, for singing with me, for uh, just being together in this worshipful time unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll see you again soon, and uh, stay tuned for Pastor Brent. God bless. Take care.